last video, we were able to create an Azure Face API basic, which gives you a response using the endpoint and subscription keys, wherein you will get all the attributes like face rectangle, face landmarks, and all of the attributes. These are the attributes which we discussed. Now, let me just show you how to put a rectangle and show the photograph because this is JSON, right? I mean, this is all data. How do you do some visualization and say, hey, this is the photograph I'm talking about and this is the face. So let's do that. In order to do this, we are going to change and add few more libraries here, which I have done that over here. And then I'm gonna say, display the image. So I'm gonna read image underscore original and I'm gonna read this. Next is I'm gonna open the image. So using the bytes IO, bytes IO, I'm going to use that image original and then I'm gonna plot the figure which is uh, size of 12.12. .12. Now please note that you can do this with OpenCV as well and look at my OpenCV videos which tells you exactly how you can read the image and start plotting the image. All right. Next is um, I'm gonna plot the sh I am show which is the CV2 also has this function I am show image alpha equal to one which is color. Now for faces the for face in faces faces remember it's a JSON response. Now please note that for rectangle I'm going to take top left width and height over here. So face rectangle I'm going to take left and top. So I'm going to find out what is my top left to draw a rectangle. So if I want to find out top left and based on the width and height, I can draw a rectangle. Think about that. So origin. Next is rectangle. Origin, width, height, fill, do not fill it, line width 2. That means I'm going to create a rectangle on this image. And the rectangle is going to cover the face and color is blue and then add patch i'm going to add patch to this and finally i'm going to say off and show i'm going to run this and you would see that an image would come with a blue color rectangle on the faces please note that the top and left point coordinate is found out and then based on width and height the whole rectangle is drawn around it i hope you like the video and it's a step by step method of finding out details in the next video we're going to talk about how to display gender and uh, the emotion on this image Keep watching. Thank you.